Welcome back fellow reefers. Today we're going to take a look at Hannah's brand new magnesium checker. Now we're going to do an unboxing with this and we're going to kind of go through how to use it but I may not be doing any kind of like talking like I am right now. I may have to do a voiceover or something along that lines. Um, so we have to read the directions. This is our first time using it ourselves so until we figure out exactly what everything is and uh, how to do it. We'll probably come back later on as well and do a, a, an in-depth type of uh, how to, how to use it a lot better than just, you know, what we're gonna do today. Um, just kind of excited, wanna show everybody uh, if this is accurate or not. Um, now I haven't checked my magnesium in a long time, so let's, let's get on with this. All right, my daughter is here helping with opening up the uh, Hannah Checker to check out what's all included. Now inside you have your directions which are in the top as normal and she is grabbing reagent A. Pretty decent sized bottle. Now we are looking at reagent B. And of course the Hannah Checker itself. It comes with two cavettes. And now we have a 5 ml syringe which the print is in black this is going to be for reagent a next up we have another 5 ml syringe which is in blue this syringe is for your aquarium water and we have a 1 ml syringe which is for reagent b And we have three included tips for each syringe. Just be careful because we found that one syringe, which was for reagent A, was really loose and it wants to fall off all the time. So just be cautious with that one. And we should be getting ready to start testing any second now. All right, here we go. So first step is to turn on your HANA checker. Make sure it states C1. Then we're going to grab reagent A. We want to grab the syringe and fill it with 4 ml of reagent A. Then we place that inside the cavette. Thank God it wasn't full as I knocked it over just before this. Now we're going to take uh, our aquarium water sample and we want to get the syringe that is in blueprint and we want to draw out 5 ml of aquarium water. Now we place that in the cavette as well. Next you want to place the cap on the cavette and you want to invert it five times. And of course you want to make sure that it is cleaned off pretty well. Um, now would be a good time probably to let everybody know that you know, now, as with any test, when you're doing your saltwater testing, 
and uh, you can have human error you know um, it's very easy to do so you know just as long as you read the directions and you take your time uh, everything should be good so all right now we want to take the uh, cabet place it inside the hand checker and press a button we have C2 so now what we want to do is we want to get our 1 ml syringe and we want to open up reagent B we want to draw out 1 ml of reagent B Open up the checker, pull out the cavette, take off the cap, and we want to place that 1 ml straight into the cavette. Now we're going to want to place the cap on, invert it five more times. Make sure the cavette is clean, no fingerprints. Place it inside the henna checker, close the lid, press the button. And we have our magnesium of 1200 ppm. So there you have it. There was a look at the very brand new magnesium hand checker. Uh, it's very easy to use. And when you get yours, I would definitely say check out the tips that go into the syringes. They seem kind of loose and they came off uh, when we were trying to get reagent back in a the bottle. They would just slip right off of there. So, other than that, that seems to be the only fault with the brand new checker. Um, so go out there, get yourself a couple or one or two or three and uh, enjoy, have fun. Check that magnesium and uh, until then, we'll see you on the next one.